Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I transition some of my favourite summer outfits for the autumn season. I actually got the idea to film this video after watching one of Audrey's and I'm going to link the one that inspired me down in the description box below if you want to go and check her channel out. She's absolutely great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through five different outfits and then I'm going to show you how I switch things up just to make them a little bit more cold weather appropriate. Before I dive into it, I just want to preface that Sydney autumns are relatively mild. Uh, it was quite a lot warmer last year, so I have started pulling out the layers a lot earlier this year, but it, in general, you can usually go bare-legged. So for the first outfit that I wanted to transition for a more autumn appropriate look, I wanted to start off with an outfit that I actually wore for my birthday lunch this year. It's a white Madewell shirt which I've got tucked into a pair of stone coloured trousers which you guys have gone crazy for and I'm really sorry these ones are sold out but I will link some similar ones in the description box below and then a pair of tan suede pumps. Now it has been really rainy recently so a pair of suede shoes is not ideal for autumn right now so what I've done to transition this is I've swapped the shoes out and I've gone for a leather option so I think either a really cool pair of sneakers would look great with this outfit otherwise a nice square toe pair of flats. On my upper half I've swapped out the short sleeve blouse and I've gone with a lightweight knit sweater. This is a new one from Evelyn which you may have seen in the video that I partnered with them on. I am really loving this and it's one of my favorite wardrobe additions for autumn so far. Then for an additional layer I've thrown on a wool blazer, so just a nice lightweight jacket that I can wear if it's getting particularly cold. This one's kind of a nice olive color which I think ties in really beautifully with the neutral hues of this outfit and actually pairs really nicely with those square toe flats. The second outfit I wanted to transition was probably more of a typical summer outfit for me. So I'm wearing a little camisole tucked into some nice tailored shorts and then on my feet I'm wearing a pair of low heeled sandals. This was kind of my go to just because it was really easy and it was great for days when it was you know 30 plus degrees celsius. So in order to make this a little bit more autumn appropriate I'm going to be keeping the shorts on but I'm going to switch everything else up. So I'm going to swap out that camisole and I'm going to wear a nice cotton shirt. This one here has a stripe to it which I thing adds a little bit of visual interest and then I've also got a blazer on over the top which will help to give another layer and this is kind of a perfect combination for those autumn days where there are still those last hints of summer remaining in the air. Then on my feet I swapped out those heeled sandals and I went for more of a closed toe pump. These ones are one of my favorites. They're from Vanelli and I wear them religiously. However, I think if I wanted a little bit more coverage, something that was uh, a little bit chunkier and a little bit more of that autumn edge, I would probably wear these with a pair of black pointed toed boots. So the ones I've got are from Evelyn and these are incredibly comfortable, great for walking around in all day. So the third outfit is one that I wore for one of Luke's friend's uh, 40th birthday parties and it is this beautiful dress from Faithful. It has a smocked bodice and then it's loose fitting through the legs and then I wore a pair of really old Alexander Wang sandals. If I can find them pre-loved, I'm going to link them in the description box because these are amazing and they're so comfortable. Now I really love the color combinations in this outfit and I wanted to focus this look on the dress and how I would style that up for autumn. So so what I've done to make it a little bit more cold weather appropriate is I've thrown on a cashmere sweater. This one's from Grana and it's really nice and soft. I have to say I always have a really good experience with Grana cashmere. And what I've done is I have put a belt around my waist so that I can tuck it in and create a little bit more shape so that I don't have that shirt edge along the hemline peeking out because uh, I prefer it when there's a little bit more of a differentiation between the sweater and then the skirt of the dress. Then on my feet, I've gone for a pair of boots. I just think that this is a really nice, easy way to kind of layer up and make a summer dress feel a little bit more autumn weather appropriate. You could also wear maybe with the dress a little white skivvy underneath. I don't actually have one in my wardrobe, but I think that would be a really nice look as well. And then maybe just some nice ballet pumps would look really good. We had a bit of a mix summer this year and I actually found myself reaching for jeans quite frequently. So for outfit number four, uh, one of my favorite kind of go-to looks was pairing a silk camisole with some high-waisted skinny or slim fitting jeans and then just a pair of slip-on sandals. I just thought this was such an easy look for summer uh, and one that I could just easily wear around the house and still feel really comfortable but put together at the same time. To make this a little bit more appropriate for autumn, what I would do is I would swap out that silk camisole for a long sleeve top. In this case, I've gone for my pleated top from Elizabeth and James, which I think just brings a little bit of drama. 
then I would swap out the shoes and in this case because I really like more classic silhouettes and classic styles I've gone for my Vanelli two-tone pumps which are a really good dupe for the Chanel two-tone pumps if you ever had your eye on those but they are way out of your budget these are incredibly high quality and mine have really stood the test of time I probably need a replacement now because I've thrashed them but I still feel like they've got a lot of life left in them then over the top of that just to kind of add an extra layer uh, especially if there's some autumn showers I would probably throw on a nice trench coat the one that I'm wearing here is from Evelyn I've got it in a size extra small in case you guys are wondering it does run large I really like this little combination it sort of feels quite Parisian uh, but it's really simple and classic at the same time then for my final look I wanted to kind of do a throwback to an outfit that I wore last summer but then I also wore again this summer because I just love this combination so much it's one of my favorite outfits so I started with a polka dot top this one's from J Crew, and I really love the wrap front detail on it I think it is so cool and then I paired that with a white denim skirt which is also from J Crew, and then a pair of braided sandals from Bowden which honestly have been one of my favorite pair of sandals to wear for the early autumn late summer kind of months then to make this more autumn appropriate what I would do is I would switch out that silk tank for a really nice big oversized sweater the one that I'm wearing is from Veta and I really like this because you can wear it three ways I'm wearing it as more of a turtleneck I just I really love that oversized fit to wear I've kept the skirt just because I find that denim skirts still tend to be quite a big part of my autumn wardrobe especially at the start of the season and then what I've done is I have swapped out those sandals for my black leather day heels uh, and again this is just a really nice easy look I could also throw on a coat as well if it was a particularly cool day uh, just to give myself a little bit of extra warmth for my upper body so those are five summer outfits and how I would transition them to make them more appropriate for autumn I would love to know which your favorite look as always is down in the comment section below either the summer or the autumn outfit thank you again to Audrey for inspiring this video it was really fun to kind of go through and see how I actually transition those summer items for the cooler months I hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you did please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you'd like to see more videos from me thank you guys again for watching and I will see you soon bye